Jean Artuis joins me now. He is the chair of the Committee on Budgets at the European Parliament and you've just been talking to the Forum for the Future of Agriculture, speaking with Phil Hogan and talking about the CAP, its future, can agriculture survive, can the CAP survive as it exists now. Huge topic, Jean, so let me ask you, you talked about uh, being clear about defining the strategy and competitiveness being at the heart of the future of European farming. That was an important focus in the debate just now. Yes, we have to, to support competitiveness of uh, farmers, of agriculture, uh, and this is the aim of uh, CAB. But we have also to, uh, to, to, to support farmers when they contribute to preserve the environment and protect the climate. And this is very much a very important focus now because of course the question is yes we all agree but how are we going to do that supporting those environmental gains those public goods uh, with financial incentive ma making that equation is very important yes the, the problem is that we we have to uh, to fund the european budget and we know that uh, uh, on uh, january the 1st 2021 we will have no longer the contribution, the net contribution of United Kingdom. 14 uh, billion will be missing. And we know that for the future, we have to, uh, to, to, to answer some, uh, some and, and to support some European common goods, such as uh, defense and security, uh, how to manage uh, and control migrations, how to, to tackle, uh, to combat uh, uh, world terrorism, how to, 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 to support a digital economy. So this, is, this will be expensive. How can we <laughs> fund all those issues with 1% of the GDP, European GDP? Money is the problem, in other words. But you know, one of the things that you talked about in a new chapter of the CAP was investment in research. Yes. How important is that? Yes. If we decide to to forbid the glyphosate, that suppose that research has has developed a substitute, and we have probably to devote a portion of the CAP for research, for for for, for competitiveness, for innovation. Uh, to implement uh, digital in, uh, in agribusiness, in farming. And in, in trying to solve some of your Brexit woes, I wonder, you talked a little bit about FTAs, you know, trade agreements, negotiating those with vision and defining a strategy. Yes. Is that very much part of the future? Yes, because uh, the revenue of farmers doesn't depend only on CAP. It depends on the coherence. Coherence, that means simplification of uh, CAP uh, programs, uh, that means also a clear strategic vision of, uh, of free trade negotiations. It's not, it's not supportable to pay uh, subsidies uh, to beef breeders uh, if we push them to bankrupt due to some import at, at very, very low prices. And uh, we have also to facilitate uh, the association of farmers to define their own policy and to try to obtain better prices. Finally, give us a, a sense of your opinion of what you heard in the forum today and how important the forum is for airing views of farmers, of commissioners. Uh, Globalisation was one topic that was covered, whether it's an opportunity or a threat. How important were, is it to share some of the views we heard from Portugal, we heard from Italy today, um, so that we have this open debate at a forum like this? We, we have to, uh, to demonstrate that uh, we, con we, we consider, we still consider that uh, farming, agricultural world is contributing to food security and sovereignty. And uh, this is a collective responsibility. I am confident. That's a good note to end on. Thank you for your confident message, Jean-Antoine. Many thanks for joining us here today.